I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Twenty six inches. Two inches. Now this high tech straight edge is a piece of a uh, old storm window that just happened to work for what I needed. Make my mark here at two inches. So I'm going to draw a line from that mark there to this mark here. There. Now if I make that exactly two inches, I'm not allowing for the saw curve. So I'm going to give myself three sixteenths of an inch for saw curve. A little wider than what the saw actually cuts. But that gives me a little wiggle room. On this end of the board, I'm laying out a mortise for that board that's going to come, in this case, vertically off the bench and be the front rest for the handle of the saw. I have another one out here in the middle so that my shortest saw has something to lean against. That's going to put it about there. And that will also be inch and three eighths. Now that's the side panel and the decisions made for the cross pieces. I just have to repeat that on this end. Starting at 16. Three-eighths down. Inch and three-eighths down. That's the rough layout. One cut. 
up there. Then I can start ripping this down. this bench I put the vise on the right hand side and I set it up against this wall thinking I could pull it back and use it out in the center of the floor to make cuts but I'm finding that it's just as easy to make my cuts on this left hand side so that's what I'm going to be doing and using this distant number 12 with a 10 tooth per inch I get a much better cut Fairly straight, off maybe a half a degree or two. I'm going to cheat and join these boards together with a screw through this waist. These inch and a quarter screws are just long enough to go down into the bottom piece and grip it and hold them in alignment. By using this countersink screw, I can put one screw there, one screw here at the end, and one screw here at this end, and one screw up there at the top, and have these boards held tightly together so that they operate as one piece. That way as I go through and cut the mortises and shape this angle, I'll be able to maintain both pieces at the same size. Don't need to have them perfectly countersunk, I just need to have them out of the way so that the 
heads of the screws won't stick up in any place where I'm going to be working. With the side panels rough cut and fastened together, I'm ready to trim the edges. I want to plane them down so that they're all exactly smooth and even. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.